you have been very strong when you were in uh, FIDA or in the civil society before you came to the judiciary on matters pertaining to women rights would you consider yourself uh, this is very fair would you consider yourself a feminist a and do me people of the other gender have anything to fear in your leadership as a chief justice I want to put it plain to the TV, to the judge. No, she... judge she, the, this house of record is good. You dispense it off with, with it one, once and for all. There is talk and rumor that you are a feminist and you hate men. Please clarify that. What I would like to assure this August house is that when I look at a case, I don't look at it whether it's a woman, it's a man. I look at the facts of the case. I look at the Constitution. The Constitution says we always uh, consider the vulnerable groups, and the women are marginalized, and they are vulnerable sometimes. I have decided many, many cases where I have declared rights for men. I can state uh, publicly that I follow the dictates of the Constitution, of the statute. I can never operate outside uh, the Constitution. I do not hate men. As a matter of fact, I've been married for the last that, uh, five years. I got married when I was uh, very young. I went to the University of Nairobi when I was already married, so I know how difficult it is to balance a family and balance education, but I'm so proud that I graduated with a daughter, I graduated with a husband who has remained uh, my dear partner and compatriot all these years. So I support families. All my life I have worked for families because I know the family is the background of the society. And if we protect the family, then we have protected the whole society because those people leaving the family will be empowered to go out there and heck a living when there is no violence in the family, when there is only encouragement and love in the family. 